everybody. Sorry I'm a little, a lot late. I, uh, you know, things just, you know, you start getting ready to come up here and then you see one thing and then you see another thing and next thing you know, it's a lot later than you thought it was. So, <laughs> so here I am. Is everybody? Did everybody have a nice weekend? I hope I did. Got a lot, uh, you know, some some stuff accomplished for the cleaning my house for my open house this this weekend for uh, my Christmas Eve open house. So got that all done. Today was a very productive day. I had. Um, Maureen was here helping me. She's our, uh, she was always here on Thursdays, um, but now she's here on Mondays instead. Uh, Maureen is actually Kara's mom now. Um, but uh, yeah, so Kara isn't. She's left her home for the past couple weeks, um, just because we had some uh, some eye goop issues going around, and um, we just had a lot of not a lot of room in the in the kennels for a while so she's left her home but um but so Maureen was here today and it, and uh, I also had a family of what seemed like a hundred people helping me <laughs> I think there was six six of them that were helping me um and um so yes that was um very uh very productive day got done cleaning early and feel like rushed all day so Just scrolling down looking to see what I missed today I'm terrible. I haven't sent any cards out yet, but I, I should. Um, I gotta do some to at least my neighbors so that my neighbors can know to come over <laughs> to my party. But I did a, a Facebook invite for all the locals, so. But, uh, yeah, we have some decorations up in the barn, and I haven't been playing Christmas music. I should probably put some Christmas music on in the barn. That helped me last year. But there's one Christmas Christmas song that I can't stand, so I haven't been listening to it, so. Oh, that is such a cute picture, Diane. Oh. It's, well, the funny thing, that's Edgar and, um, it's Edgar and Harper, and they don't get along. <laughs> Which is fun. Or is that? 
I can't tell. Is that Edgar? I mean, is that Stowe or is that Harper? I think that's Harper. I can't tell by looking at the other one. But that is a cute picture. Uh, I don't know if Olivia will spend uh, another night with her. I'm not sure. Um, such a good dog. I, ho I hope uh, I hope she settles in. So she'll settle in soon. Pretty sure she, she should settle in soon. picture. Look how cute that is. It's Harper, Harper and Edgar, but they don't get along normally. Yeah, that's such a cute picture. Now I don't know how to get back out of that picture. Why do I do that to myself? Oh, there we go. Hey, I figured it out. JK Focus, the house has had quadruple mummies before. Um, actually, it was all four in the house when Opal was here. It was Opal, Scarlett, Misha, and Gussie um, about a year ago, a little over a year ago. We had four all at once. Um, four puppies within, uh, 32 puppies within five weeks. Um, but yes, the double mummies before, de definitely two. We've had, we've had two before, uh, before that. Laura's here. Laura's in the house. Um, yeah, so I think I think a year and a half ago, I, I believe all four mothers were in the house at the same time. That was uh, that was hectic. And then uh, yeah, so this is the first time in a while that this, that there's been two. Grumbling. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, there's nobody in the barn making bowls yet. And all the laundry that is in uh, the dryer and the washing machine can go over to the um, laundry building when, um, if you have time. If not, I, mean, I can move it tomorrow, but. You did that? Oh my God, that's amazing. Yep. I didn't I notice it this morning. I didn't notice it this morning the first time I walked in, but then I walked in again and I was like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We have fun. Yeah. You can see the window. Yeah. Bite my nose. Yes, he just, he just bit my nose. Silly boy. Yes. He's such a good boy. Um, 
you know, I don't. I think they, um, you know, they they took it right. They took it and they started working on it right in front of her. Uh, I I didn't see her reaction, but a lot of times they they just know. Um, they just know, and if it's if I mean even if it's. Um, yeah, I think if, if they know that it's it won't um, thrive, they uh, like in the wild. I think they just kind of push it aside. Um, so, so I'm not sure what they did this time. Um, we're thinking about splitting the authors up as soon as there more is more kennel space. And uh, at this point, they're they're actually doing pretty good in the small kennels that they have, as far as um, housebreaking, as far as peeing and pooing inside. So they're they're doing pretty good. Um, and once um, in all the re the other kennels, it's really hard to make them small enough. So it, like so, if we were to go put them in a bigger kennel now, they would just resort back to uh, peeing and pooping inside. Um, so that's why we. Um, um, we have it set up the way it is, but um, I wish we had some more, some more small, smaller kennels that we could uh, put them in, but we don't, so. Um, so even now, the ones that have the, lo the, the regular kennels, they have the lofts, you know, they, they'll just go up and sleep in the loft and they'll come right down and pee and poo in the uh, inside and then go right back up into their loft, so. That's, that's a problem. So, yeah, got to make sure we got all the peeing and pooing under control. And then we can, I mean, they're, they're doing okay by themselves now, like with the, the three of them. They, they do get to go out um, individually training. Um, or maybe not, well, it is considered training. They might just take them out to, a, um, out for a car ride. Um, that's that's one thing that they've. Uh, I know Olivia has been doing. Um, she just takes takes them individually on car rides, and I don't know if she goes to a store or not yet. I don't know, um, but I you, you can ask that at Trainer Talk also. Um, what they're what they're up to on their their training, um, but I knew they I know they do go out um, out um, just for rides and stuff. You're uh, you're in for uh, a treat for having a couple more. Well, one well obviously this litter, and then we've got Laney coming up soon too. So I can't wait to see how Laney is. I think Laney will be a great mother. Hopefully she'll let um, let people in with her because like, she's usually fairly timid. Um, so. Hopefully she's she lets a lot of people in. I know obviously uh, obviously Olivia Olivia is is belongs to Lainey. Um, I'm pretty sure she'd let me in and Grace. I know that, but um, yeah, I've uh, so I don't know. I've spent a lot of time with her and Grace has spent a lot of time with her. I don't know who else has so. And that's reason, the reason why they uh, bring the mothers into the house so early, just so they can settle in and, and get used to the people that are going to be around. So, um, so it's, it just gets them used to used to them. So, um, when do the pups get weighed again? Um, I'm not sure. Let me ask when when they're done. Oh, 
know, and I'm sure you'll uh, you'll you'll hear this anyways soon. But um, Amelia got to go home today with her person, so that was that was exciting. Um, and he's such a good guy. He's a great guy. So um, you will um, you will see more of her. He's gonna um, keep coming uh, to volunteer. He's been coming to volunteer um, since he um, he applied in. Uh, late summer he applied um, and so he's been um, he's been coming two or three times a week since then so um, and he, he got Amelia so very excited I'm sure you'll hear more about it so um, hi blue penguin yes I do well of course it's a mess now but I still I do like it <laughs> It's, it's easy, easier to, to take care of, so. And it looks better than it did when it was long, so. Thank you. Hey, Grace. All right, I'm just gonna ask that one last wait. When, when do they get weighed again when they're done talking? But does anybody else have any other questions? Oh, Maeve, maybe, maybe, maybe. She's doing good. She's doing good. She's uh, she was out. I I had her out playing with Asher today uh, in the arena. I think Asher was her first friend here. So. Oh, I just love that picture of, of Harper and Edgar. That is just so cute. Especially since they don't normally get along. Uh, how is Carlene doing with her cough and her chest? Um, honestly, I didn't even know. I haven't seen her. I saw her briefly today, and she seemed fine to me, so I don't know. That's uh, You can ask that at mail call. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Cindy. Oop, I just heard her cough. Oh, yeah, she's coughing. I hear her now. She must be listening. <laughs> but, yes, she is coughing. Maeve is doing well. She's uh, um, she's going out readily and playing. She's she's uh, she's very high energy, so she she requires a lot of uh, a lot of play time, a lot of a lot of running around. And she's she's fairly vocal, but she has this weird. It's not really like a bark. It's more of a. I can't even tell you what it sounds like. I can't imitate it. Um. It's a weird thing she does, but um, but she's good. She's good. We'll 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 find someone for her. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, 
There's another one coming. Oh, bless you. You all right? Lainey's got the sneezes. Um, the little ones, I um, I think they were having fun. They, they don't even notice it. Um, but I let Ned out today, and, and Flat Field is very icy, and I let him out just by himself because he, he's supposed to be just leash walked, so I just let him out by himself just to explore Flat Field, and he wound up running across some ice and wiping out. <laughs> but, um, but he's fine. He's good. I'm not sure about that. I'm, I don't, I'm not usually, it's Grace is usually one that gives meds. So that's something you can ask at mail call about uh, Maya. Um, so. Maybe you just had a sneezing fit. When's the next time the puppies will be weighed? Sunday, maybe Tuesday, Okay. Um, they were weighed on Sunday, so Grace is thinking Tuesday or Wednesday that they'll be weighed again. So. Yep, so. I know my. I don't know. Yeah, that's what Carlene had said about, you know, she probably has not had a leash on because she's been in the house mostly. And, um, you know, we knew that she was not going to be a service dog, so Meg hasn't been working with her as far as that goes. So, or and not the, so, I don't know. to being paired um, I, I don't know that um, I know there's a, there's a lot of them that are that are really good um, but I don't know that's something I would ask um, I would ask a trainer talk um, so there's obviously some that are more closer to others uh, it's just a matter of um, finding a person you know for that dog so um, but I would definitely ask that question at trainer talk. So, but um, I think there should be some coming up the pipeline that uh, that we'll we'll see going soon. So, and it's it's as hard as it is. I'm also excited because it's even it frees up kennel space. <laughs> uh, that, uh, at this point, we're actually we've been. Um, doubling up dogs in up top and the whole donkey hillside has been empty at night just to try to cut down on the barking which i can hear a lot of barking right now i should go probably go i don't know where that's coming is that chaos barking i think that's chaos that's chaos so I'm going to wrinkle. Yeah, no, no Houdini stuff in a while with wrinkle. She's been good. Um, yeah, she's been mostly down, down here, uh, up, up top here. She's been mostly up top here. It's usually the, um, I think it was 
puppy hill that she was getting out of, and when I finally found out where she was coming, you know, she was jumping from, um, there was a rug over, like, um, just a, a carpet that was over the fence, and so she was using the carpet that, that gave her more courage to be able to, like, she could see better to get over the fence, uh, and, you know, it, was, it wasn't as, as scary at that point where the, the carpet was over the fence, so, figured that, and she hadn't gotten out since then, so. Alrighty, I am out of here now. I'm going to um, go do some Christmas shopping. I need to, and I will. Um, I'll talk to you guys again on Wednesday. Have a great night, and I will uh, wave at you in the morning.